What is a brand? Originally, the word brand comes from the branding iron used to indicate ownership of an animal and applied only as a hallmark by which one can identify a product or manufacturer. But isn't a brand so much more? Each brand has a brand identity and tells a story. This can be done consciously or unconsciously and can have a positive or negative effect on the brand's success. A good story does not have to be complex, but profound and accurate. What are the requirements for a successful brand today? A brand is not just a logo and a claim. A brand is like a living organism that depends on all people who have any kind of relation to it. And like any organism, a brand needs a beating heart that keeps it in motion and adapts to changing situations in order to keep from stasis. A brand is successful when it communicates and interacts with its environment on an equal footing, while taking all channels of media and networks into account. This means that it adapts to new situations instead of just fighting for attention. When a brand creates a credible and sustainable world that as many people as possible want to take part in, it succeeds. So how does a brand effectively reach its customers? Humans have no special mechanisms for dealing with brands, but always process sensory input in a similar manner. This mostly happens subconsciously and at an incredible speed. The brain recognizes what the sensory stimulus is and what it stands for. The brain utilizes a catalog of stored signals by recognizing patterns and cultural meanings. It senses any deviations and assesses risks. In the next step, it judges whether the context is positive or negative, that is to say if a tangible or intangible reward is present. Now, if a positive association is not consciously inhibited, a brand's message will be accepted. But how does a brand send activating signals? The elements of a holistic brand presentation are almost unlimited. They range from a logo to a graphic design concept, a claim, a written and spoken language, a sound, an advertisement, a website, a software, a social interaction, an event, a guerrilla campaign, a sponsorship relation, architecture, a piece of clothing, a behavior, a physiognomy, a smell, a feel, or even a taste. But one particular element truly brings a brand to life, movement, that is to say, motion design. How does motion design make a brand successful? Motion design has the ability to tell stories and triggers the most effective area in the human brain, episodic memory. Basically, all successful stories are similar and consist of four elements. A message, a conflict, a character and an action. Through the deliberate activation of emotions, these stories draw people into them. Emotions are valued as real by people and therefore influence their actions. The most effective way of activating emotions is through the moving image, because the viewer identifies with a character's actions. The association of aesthetic and situational cues of moving images trigger mirror neurons to mentally recreate these, and therefore metaphorical narratives are linked with one's own life. The recipient subconsciously experiences what is seen as real and files it away in his memory. Auditory stimuli support and potentiate these sensations and thereby differ from the static image as they can keep up with the speed of the movement in our lives. What form of media can bring the story of a brand to life? The channels for motion design are growing exponentially and range from TV over cinema, online, digital signage, convention media displays, in-store media displays, point-of-sale screens, facade displays, 
software branding, interface branding, company TV, playback on mobile and connected devices, immersive media, and displays on public transport, and draws on content from corporate motion over advertising to informative and atmospheric categories. And what are the essential signals? In terms of a holistic brand communication, consistent brand signals are essential. These include abstract signals in general. The corporate design with its elements of form, color, typography, text and movements. Concrete brand specific signals both with and without metaphorical meaning and the brand specific world of experience. This requires a conscious attention to a clear dramaturgy, a relevant reference to the brand and the possibility of episodic continuation because each step in a successful brand communication must be seen in the long term. If one can fulfill all these criteria, then motion design forms the soul of the brand.